Beef Research School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Beef Cattle Research Council. Yeah, I think one of the things that I've learned over the years is that many people use the word foot rot interchangeably with lameness. And there's no doubt that, that foot rot occurs, but I think people have to move away from assuming everything is foot rot. Um, foot rot is very specific. It's, it's a very specific condition in which the, there's a break in the skin, the bacteria gets in and you get a swollen foot is the most important thing to look for. The foot swells, the two toes separate, and if you could get close enough, you'd actually see there's some really nasty sort of foul green discharge between the toes. And because the infection's in the tissues, it responds really well to antibiotics. So probably the most diagnostic test for foot rot is to give the animal a shot of antibiotic. And if it gets better, you know it was foot rot. If it doesn't get better, by definition, it's not foot rot. And that's where you need to do something more. Closer looking at the foot, you may find there's been an injury or more commonly potentially an abscess. And the thing about abscesses in the feet is they're caused by bacteria, but you've actually got the abscess between the hoof and the underlying tissue. It's like getting an abscess under your fingernail. It's incredibly painful because the pressure has nowhere to go. You've got a solid surface on one side and a solid surface on the other. So in order to relieve the pain, you have to relieve the pressure. And so those animals, actually, you need to look at their feet, you need to find the abscess and drain it. Giving them antibiotics won't achieve anything because the antibiotics don't get to that tissue. That tissue is under the horn, which is dead tissue. There's no blood supply there. And antibiotics won't relieve, won't relieve the pressure. So abscesses are really common. They're a huge welfare issue. And getting someone who knows what they're doing to trim that foot, that animal will get instant relief if it's a bull he should be able to go back to breeding the moment he gets relief and that foot will heal in perfectly in about three to four weeks. You'll never know it happens. If you don't do anything about it, that animal remains chronically lame. They lose condition, you lose their productivity and there's always the potential for something bad to develop over time. In the feedlots, it's a bit different. In the feedlots, we're seeing um, uh, this toe necrosis syndrome, which is uh, where we're still trying to get to the bottom of exactly what's going on there. We're seeing a hairy heel wart, which is we've always used to think of as a dairy cow disease, but if they're in the pens and it's kind of mucky, they get these uh, really sore areas on the backs of their heels, um, which those need to be treated with antibiotics and they will clear up. Um, we're seeing um, joint problems, especially associated with mycoplasma pneumonia, where the bacteria gets into the bloodstream and settles out in the joints. Um, those are some of the main things we're seeing in the feedlot. Well, the, the digital dermatitis, you, the best thing to do with that is actually to apply an antibiotic to the outside of the foot. And that's probably best done in large numbers by using foot baths. Um, the toe necrosis, actually, we don't have a treatment for. Those, um, fortunately, a lot of those are animals that, 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 we are, uh, that are dying. And the, uh, the, the arthritis, the animals that get the mycoplasma in their bloodstream, we can't fix that either. Um, those animals, once the, end, once the bacteria is in the joint, it really wrecks the joint and there's no way to clean that up. With the, the arthritis, they're a real problem because by the time you realize what's going on, the, the bacteria are settled in the joint, they've done a lot of damage and there's no way that a drug can kill off the bacteria and reverse that damage. So the, the concern there is that people miss it. They don't look at the joints, they're looking at the feet. And these swollen joints are incredibly painful. These animals are doing very, very poorly. People continue to treat them and waste money and the animal's suffering, so it's a welfare issue. So recognizing those animals on and probably in many cases deciding to cut your losses and then talking to your veterinarian about what can be done to try and prevent the pneumonias becoming systemic and resulting in the arthritis.
The only lameness really where mass treatment is going to be effective um, is really with digital dermatitis or hairy heel wart, this thing where the bacteria gets into the, the skin at the heel and makes them horribly lame. That one, the only way you're really going to deal with it is to mass medicate. And as I said, that's typically actually done in foot baths. If you walk the animals through a medicated foot bath, you can pretty much put the brakes on that and clean up a, a problem. Um, most of the other ones tend to be somewhat sporadic in a group, although you can get high numbers, but there's not a single treatment you can do that's going to be prophylactic or prevent other cases. With the, with the arthritis, once you know that's going on, then it's, it's often looking, looking at your pens as a group and looking at the pneumonia control as a way to try and hopefully minimize the arthritis down the line. So once you see arthritis, there's probably not much you can do in that group, but you may need to think more critically about groups that are just coming on feed. Well, the thing about cow calf when you think about it is you're actually you're managing those animals in as close to a natural environment as you can so on the whole lameness in your cow calf herd should be relatively low there's a couple of things you should think about one is your bulls carry a lot of weight and typically travel a long distance so you want your bulls to have the healthiest feet possible and so over the years it's really come to my attention and i'm, I'm now really promoting this that if you've got a bull and you know he's going to be working at pasture, you're reliant on that bull to breed those cows. It's worth taking the investment to get his feet sorted out before breeding season. So what I recommend to a lot of guys is, you know, you may get into the habit of getting your bull's semen evaluated about six weeks before they go out to pasture. If he passes his semen evaluation, that's the perfect time to get his feet done because you can tidy his feet up, deal with any issues. If there's any problems, you've still got six weeks before he needs to work and then he'll go out to pasture with really good feet and those feet should keep him going for the whole summer.